March 3rd, 2019. Well, I did a video uh, last week on the DC linear actuators in the greenhouse for controlling ventilation, and I promised I would do a follow-up video on the code on that. So uh, we'll go over the uh, Python code that drives that now, and uh, we'll also take a look at some charting. You can, you'll actually be able to see where the vents open and close, and the corresponding temperatures and humidity and that sort of thing. Anyway, um, so uh, let's see. We're picking pins 20, 21, and 26 to drive those relays on the relay board. Uh, we're looking at all those sensor devices, creating a text file from them, and uh, basically breaking it down into Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit. Um, then we're going through and we're reading the addresses of each of the sensors and defining their values, uh, just like in the... Uh, the code that drives the data logging. Uh, we're using the same sensor set. Uh, let's see, then we read the temperature, we calculate averages, uh, and basically we start uh, comparing outside temperatures and inside temperatures, that sort of thing. So uh, this is all basically just print out up here and then here we actually start the actuator code so uh, we use an if else if else if type statement here uh, which is basically acts as a loop so first thing we do is we look at the outside temperature we say if the outside temperature is less than or equal to 30 then we're not going to do anything and we're going to uh, sleep for 600 seconds or 10 minutes uh, otherwise if the average temperature in the greenhouse is greater than 90 and the outside temp is greater than 55 we're going to open both vents um, and so you'll notice here that I open the vent sequentially um, so first it says print or open the vent full then uh, we address the GPIO to the corresponding relay in this case it's GPIO 26 for the upper panel the exhaust panel and we set it to low uh, we set it to out and low and then uh, we do a time sleep in here and we wait 30 seconds for the first panel to go up and then we initiate the other panel, which is GPIO 21. We set that to out and low, which trips that relay also. And we wait 30 seconds for that to go up. Uh, reason for this, even though they're low power consumption, I think it makes sense just to uh, reduce the total system continuous load. And uh, it also gives an opportunity for, uh, for the panel to vent off some heat. And, uh, and get started toward recalculating, because you'll see later in the script here, we actually recalculate uh, every 10 minutes. So uh, then the other option is if the temperature is greater than 85 and the outside temp is greater than 40, you'll notice that uh, these two values are a little bit lower, then we're only going to open the exhaust vent. Same deal, uh, GPIO 26. We let it sleep for 30 seconds till the vent's full. Uh, and then let's see, we wait a minute and then we check, we recheck the temperatures. So you see we we raise the vent all the way and we wait and then uh, in 60 seconds we go back and we grab temperatures again and we crunch the average and we see if the average is uh, above or below our set limit still and if it's below our set limit then we drop the vent and if it's above then the vent stays open. So and then uh, yeah, and then so see if you can if we go down to this next part of the statement, we look at the average temperature, and you can see, uh, you know, if it's greater than or equal to 85, and the outside temperature is greater than or equal to 40, um, then we stay up, and otherwise we go down. Uh, so in this case, uh, you can see we set all the GPIOs to high. Um, and because they're going down, there's a lot less power load, so I just set them both high at the same time and let them come down together. Also, uh, if you reach a point where venting is not uh, needed anymore uh, at the end of the day, things can get cold very quickly, so the quicker you close out when it's time to do that, the better off you'll be and the more heat you'll trap and save. Uh, and then, of course, uh, those two DC fans in the top of the greenhouse are stirring fans now, and those are the DC stirring fans, and we actually... Uh, we bring those on uh, through the use of GPIO pin 16. We set that low to trip the relay on, and we wait two minutes, and we let those stir fans equalize the temperatures in the greenhouse, and then uh, and then we'll wait uh, 10 minutes, 
and then we'll come back and we'll do another uh, temperature sample and uh, we'll go back through the list of conditions in this loop and uh, you know look for what the conditions are and, uh, and adjust panels as needed uh, so I hope that gives you a good understanding of what's going on here. It's really pretty simple in concept. Uh, it's just a lot of text, really. <laughs> and it has to be right, of course, because the syntax and coding is very specific. But uh, but really, it's a simple concept and really very easy to do. So uh, I hope that helps you understand the code behind the panels. We'll go ahead and take a look at the. Uh, this is actually a live chart uh, to current. It's uh, let's see, it's 11:47 p.m. So you can see we're just shy of midnight. And you can see uh, the red line here is the stove. And you can see yesterday's cycles. We're looking back over a 24-hour period here. Um, and so you can see yesterday's stove cycles, boom, and today's stove cycles where I lit up and I restoked and stoked again, and so on. And then uh, let's see this uh, magenta looking line here is uh, the average greenhouse temperature and so you can see that kind of fluctuate up and down <coughs> and you can see when I let off the stoke that it kind of drops down from uh, oh well 75 down to uh, I don't know about 68 or so it looks like uh, 67 yeah so um, Anyway, so then, uh, so the stove goes out, and now the sun starts to come up, and you see the average greenhouse temperature start to climb again, and you see it reach a peak here of, looks like about 93 degrees average, and then you can see where the vent, the exhaust vent, at least the exhaust vent, probably both actually, opened, and you can see where the, it, the greenhouse cools off, and then you can see it, uh, the vent close, and it warm up again, and on and on. And then, of course, we get into the more peak part of the day with higher intensity sunshine, and both vents open to maintain that temperature range, say, 80, 85, ideally, as a high. So, and you can see it open, uh, open and close throughout the day. And then, uh, let's see, after about yeah, after about three o'clock, uh, the sun is low enough and things are cooling enough that the vents no longer open, and you can see the uh, the greenhouse temperature fall off again. Uh, the stove temperature tends to fluctuate with the greenhouse temperature a bit because the fact that it's dark and the sun is shining on it, so uh, it tends to respond fairly parallel. Anyway, and then now you can see the stove light back up and the greenhouse temperature start climbing back out again. I uh, also should point out here, this is humidity here down at the bottom, and uh, you can see corresponding to the vent cycles, the humidity drop as the vents open. Um, and that's a result of cooler, dry, you know, cooler air with a lower relative humidity coming in and being warmed up. And then, of course, it's going to be lower humidity. So, anyway, uh, I think that pretty much covers the code for the DC linear actuators. If you have any questions or comments, please do so down below. I'm glad to answer any questions you might have. And I thank you for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network, and I hope you'll join us for our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video or you want to subscribe to our channel.